the bad news is, is that the, the decline that we had last month, and this was really just like a crash uh, of the business climate in July, that was confirmed. Uh, and that's uh, in some means that the um, business situation, uh, the business conditions currently in the German economy in the third quarter are much worse than they were in the second quarter. Is sentiment weakest um, within the German economy? The PMIs showed a contraction in both services and manufacturing in the month of August, and I wonder what you're seeing in these surveys. Mm. Well, there are often some differences between the PMI and the EFO business uh, uh, index, the business climate index. Um, so I can tell you really why uh, there is now a, a, a short uh, a discrepancy between these two, two indices. But uh, in the end, I think what, what counts is that that a business uh, conditions, business sentiment has really deteriorated uh, since uh, spring. And this has, of course, implications uh, for uh, GDP growth in the third quarter, as you said correctly. I mean, GDP was more or less stagnating, a short, uh, inc uh, a slight increase, 0.1% in the second quarter after the revision that we, we got today. But I think for the third quarter, the implications of both the PMI and the EFO Business Climate Index is clear. This will going to be uh, a contraction in the third quarter. Uh, our current estimates um, uh, are around minus 0.5% of GDP growth in the third quarter uh, compared to the second quarter. Yeah, Timo, Arabile here. If we look at, I mean, just the deterioration, of course, Russia weaponizing uh, those flow of gas through Nord Stream 1, of course, that may be an element that gets these key economic indicators to look even worse for wear. Um, is there a breaking point? Is there a point where uh, we begin to worry a whole lot more than we are right now? Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, the, the gas, well, the energy crisis in general has two, two implications for the German economy. The one is that there is a certain probability that we do not have enough gas in winter. Um, so far, I mean, depending, of course, on the weather conditions in winter, depending on how much gas will be imported from Russia in the next couple of months. But for the moment, I would say that the risk that there is a rationing situation in winter is is, is not that high. So this is the one issue. But the other issue, which is, I think, more crucial, at, at least for the short-term short outlook, are the high energy prices. And these high energy prices, they are definitely weighing on, uh, on, on private consumption in the German economy. I mean, um, so far, uh, gas prices for consumers have only increased by 50 percent uh, compared to, to last year. And this is that said, only 50 percent. I mean, this is a large number, but there's much more in this gas price pipeline to become in the next couple of months. So we expect really large energy price increases for consumers. And this will be, of course, something which is really weighing on, uh, on consumer confidence, on the purchasing power of households. And this will be uh, private consumption, I, th I mean, will be the... Uh, the, the, the key determinant for, for, for the next couple of months uh, for, the German, for the German business outlook. And I, when I say that, um, that uh, I expect GDP to decline in the third quarter, this is probably mostly due to, to a private consumption uh, declining in the third quarter.